Hi, today I'd like to talk about changing the settings for UAC or user account control. First of all, let me just talk a brief uh, info on UAC. What UAC is, it's an elevated prompt and it, it's, it pops up only if you're going to make system changes. So pretty much for safety. So that's pretty much it. Um, it was uh, integrated since Win Windows Vista, and it was pretty annoying. But uh, now in Windows 7, it's much, much better. All right, so now I'm going to show you the settings. Um, there are two ways you can either do with security policies, which I'll show you um, after the easy part. Uh, the easy part is actually just go to the Start menu. You go to Control Panel, and then you want to go to uh, change in your UAC, but you want to go to first, you can just go to your account first, user accounts. You go from there. Now, from here, you can change right here, change user account control settings. So you click on that, and then once you click on that, a window should pop up, and it will have a show a slider. So let me just click on it again. Yeah, it's taking a while. All right, here we go. Okay, so what you can see here is uh, the setting, and it's a slider, and there are four setting. Okay, so there's already this this the first one, which is high security, the top. It says always notify me, and uh, it'll tell you what it, what it recommends you to when you go into that setting. Then there's this one, which is the default, and then you got these, and this is when now this one is like it's it doesn't dim the desktop; it's less secure, but it still brings up the prompt, the UAC prompt, and this one it just ne it never prompts. This is if you like if you need to install a lot. That's what I rec recommend when you use this. For this, this is for people that are really new to um, using a, a computer because uh, you don't want them to make any serious changes since they don't know much about computers if it's their first time or they, they're recently new. So anyway, that's one way and you have to be an admin, of course, to change the settings. Also, there's another way to change the UAC settings, but you have to be an admin too. So what you go is you go to open your start menu. And then you want to type sec um, it's uh, secpol.msc or s e sorry s e c p o l dot or period msc. So it's Microsoft Security Policies, and you it's right there, or just hit enter. And now a uh, window should pop up. And you'll be presented a bunch of options. Okay, so we have the local security policy window. And now I'm going to show you how to change it from here. Now it may look confusing, but it's not that bad. I'll walk you through it. So once you go here, you go to local policies. You go to security op options. Now it will be presented a bunch of policies. Just scroll down until you get to user account control. Now there's a bunch of it's it's really good for changing settings on this one because it's more flexible and you are presented more options. Now these are two. These two are are the special ones or the I well, what I would say is the important ones. Okay, so for this one. This is user account control behavior of elevation prompt da, 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 for administrators. And then this one is for standard users. Now you can see that good properties and then it tells this explain tells you everything about it. And uh yeah. So now you can see that it shows you many options like prompt USC for consent and then like for credential uh credentials, meaning password, user name and uh, secure desktop is when it dims or just elevate without prompting okay and then the same thing on here except you you choose differently 
see for standard users, I would say prompt for cr uh, credentials, because if standard users and if they're gonna make system changes, you obviously need admin rights, and you you want a secure desktop because it's more secure in case of a, a virus attack. So at least what I mean is the virus won't control it because it dims the desktop, which is more secure. So those are two options I'd like to show, and uh, hope you enjoyed this video and. If you have any questions, leave comments below. Thanks.